Having been born and raised in Northern California, it brings me great shame to admit I would never really spent much time in the redwoods on the North Coast. Obviously, there's quite a bit to see on the North Coast in the way of redwoods, but for me, I just never had taken the time to make the drive out there. Of course, this changed this spring, and I finally made the trip out there and had a great time just taking a boatload of photos. Originally, I didn't really have much for expectations. I figured it would be a real challenge given just the massive nature of these trees, trying to accurately portray the scale of them and just having the proper equipment along. I decided to go with actually one of my more tried and true setups, and that is the Pentax 6.7 with my 75 millimeter F4.5, as well as my 45 millimeter F.4 SMC lenses. So a pretty good setup. And then I decided to actually change it up in the way of film. Instead of bringing just a good old Portra or gold, I mainly actually stuck with Kodak Ektar 100 because just in these redwoods, you have all this rich green undergrowth. I figured that'd be a great choice to really bring out those greens. So a pretty straightforward trip altogether, just bringing one camera, a couple lenses, but there was a lot to shoot and had a great time. So let's just dive on in. The first hike on my trip was up to Trillium Falls in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. This is a pretty brief hike, a pretty short hike, but served as a great warm up for the entire trip. As I said, the 45 mm F4 SMC was going to be my lens for this trip and it served quite well on this short hike. The last photo of Trillium Falls really exemplifies exactly why I brought this Kodak Ektar along. Those punchy greens are just spot on for what I really wanted and what I expected. Also, these skunk cabbage plants really smell a lot like weed when they're flowering. Because all of Humboldt County already smells like weed though, it's hardly really noticeable to the average hiker. Having shot a quick roll of Ektar at Trillium Falls, I decided to call it a day and treat myself to a brown ale as well as some succulent buffalo wings. The next day I continue to do some shooting around Prairie Creek. It's a pretty large park and there's a lot to offer in the way of landscapes, so I had a lot of fun. This composition in particular was a real pain to meter. Typical of the redwoods, there was that six or seven stop difference between the dappled sunlight and then just the deep shadows of the canopy. Nonetheless, I think Ektar handled the conditions quite well. At this point, I made the missus take a photo of me. I must admit, I think she did a pretty decent job. Wrapping up our time at Prairie Creek State Park, I decided to then hop across the way to Redwoods National Park and there I went to the very popular Lady Bird Johnson Grove, probably the most popular hike in all the redwoods. To finish the day, I drove around looking for various herds of Roosevelt elk that can be found in Humboldt County. In the end, I spotted about three herds, 
most of the um, elk there were actually pretty small, even though Roosevelt elk are considered the biggest in North America. Nonetheless, it was quite cool to see just so many in number. Fortunately, I was also able to bring along my 200 millimeter f4 Takumar lens, a pretty cheap lens that's able to give me just a little tighter composition for things like wildlife. The photos did come out blurry, but I'm honestly not surprised that this was the case. It was dim, and I just had pretty much a handheld setup. After my failed attempt at wildlife photography, I decided to go down to Eureka and enjoy one of my favorite all-time beers right at its source. If you've ever had Lost Coast Brewing's Great White, then you know exactly what I mean. The next morning I left bright and early for what is arguably the most well-known hike in all the redwoods. It's at least the most pretty hike, most say, and that is of course at Fern Canyon. And because this was during the springtime off season, there really weren't many folks to deal with, which is quite nice. While in Fern Canyon, I decided I really want to try my hand at some tighter compositions. The good thing about the Redwoods is that there's a lot of tight compositions that one can find more intimate landscapes. This photo here might be my favorite from the whole trip to the Redwoods. Ektar was barely able to handle the highlights and the shadows for the scene, but nonetheless, it did pull through in the end, and for that, I feel thankful. In comparison, if I were to have brought like transparency film for a scene like this, I think I'd have been shit out of luck. Also, I actually brought along my 135 SMC macro for this trip for some of these tighter compositions, just to see if I can get something really close up. Um, it's another great, fairly cheap lens. That's why I love the Pentax 6.7 system because there are actually a lot of lenses that are pretty affordable. Of all the intimate compositions from like this Fern Canyon area, I'd say this one was my favorite. It has like this macro landscape that reminds me of something that you'd put with some succulents in a pot in your living room or in your garden. After exiting Fern Canyon, I was actually greeted with a pretty true bonanza of Roosevelt elk. This may have been one of the more majestic scenes I've come across just while hiking, especially the most majestic scene I've seen on the coast. I was glad to have brought my 200 millimeter along again so I was able to get some okay, or at least tighter shots of these elk. Also, I saw a snaky snake. With plenty of daylight and film left, I thought it'd be best to drive up to Del Norte County, just north of Humboldt County. There you have Jedediah Smith State Park, which is another one of the great Redwood State Parks. There are a lot of great looking hikes in this park and I opted for the Boy Scout Tree Trail. I also chose to change it up from Ektar and shoot some Portra 400 instead. So for those who'd like to see how Portra would handle the Redwoods when compared to the more punchy Ektar 100, well, this is a good chance. One challenge of photographing in the Redwoods is finding unique, uncluttered compositions. The chaos of nature does not bow to the rule of compositions after all. When compared to Ektar, Portra 400 does handle shadow and highlight detail a good bit better, 
and that should serve as no surprise. But I will say, Portra does not have that rich color like Ektar, and in many photos, it almost looks like there's a thin layer of dust that fell on the redwoods, just knocking out a lot of that punchy, saturated undergrowth. Need I say what this tree trunk resembles? By the time we wrapped up our hike in Jedi Smith State Park, it was getting late once again. I drove back down to Humboldt County, had some pizza, and then over to the Sacramento Valley once again. Overall, I felt pretty happy with my results for this trip. I was really happy to have brought along the film and the camera I brought along gave me a good bit of versatility, all the while kind of just capturing the true springtime punchy greens I was hoping for. Also, the Redwoods are just a truly magical place. So I consider this like an opening salvo of what will be numerous, maybe camping trips onto the coast just in the future years. And not only that, but it's kind of a confusing place at first if you're trying to work out itinerary because it is a smattering or mosaic of state parks as well as a national park with various trails. So this could also help just to be a little bit of an itinerary. And also I hope this maybe could be a source of inspiration for those who don't shoot much Ektar because that is a, such an amazing film and it really serves a purpose if you're looking for punchier colors and you don't mind losing perhaps some shadow and highlight detail. Nonetheless, I do have a few more adventures on the horizon, so I hope you guys stick around for those.